every student has an ability to crack UGC net examination in English literature. Unfortunately, there are so many myths out there which stop a student to study the subject with full potential. These myths can be dangerous and misleading. So in this video, we are going to bust 5 myths about English literature. So before beginning this video, if you do not want to waste your hours and hours of your time in listening to the lectures and if you are one of those students who believe in smart work rather than hard work, then you can place the order of our study material on English literature. Check the link in the description below to know more about this study material. And now without any further delay, let's begin this topic. So the first myth is that you need to attend the best university in order to develop the subject. I understand that everyone wants to get admission in JNU or DU in order to push their career. But this should not be your ultimate goal. As many of you know that I was a civil engineer and I had not any background of English literature. A few years ago, I didn't even know who was Chaucer or Philip Sidney. Students of English literature used to call me dumb. They made fun of me. They called me retarded. Now here you see, I am giving the guidance to the same English literature students. Forget about me, you check the history of English literature and you will find a lot of writers or poets who have no college education. Either these writers could not afford the college education or these writers like Alexander Pope were not allowed to attend any university. It was simply because on the grounds of religion. So getting into JNU or DU must not be your goal. Your goal is to find the purpose in English literature. Your goal is to develop a good reading habit and try to find your life in this subject. Money or getting into the best university or a college is just a product of the hard work you do with the English literature. Money and college education is not the process. These are the products. These are the products of the process. So these two should not be your goal. The good thing is that when you follow the process, you do not only attract money into your life but also give a purpose to your life. So literature should be your purpose, not the universities like JNU or DU. Coming on to our second myth which is you need to crack UGC net examination again and again in order to prove yourself worthy. I request all of the students who are watching this video to not get into the hype of cracking UGC net examination again and over again. I have seen students wasting their years and years sitting again and again in this examination. Once you have cracked your UGC net examination, then move on. Don't get into the hype of cracking more and more examination. I have seen students who have cracked UGC net examination two times, three times, five times, yet they are still unable to figure out how to earn their living. Instead of wasting your time in cracking the subject again and again, start making your PhD proposal, start doing some research work, or you can also start submitting your resume to different universities. We crack UGC net examination so that we can teach. And if you are wasting your years and years in a hope that you will get something better, then it is not going to happen. You have to move on and you have to develop the skills that are required for you to become a great teacher. 21st century is not about rat race. It is about skills. It is about knowledge. These are the communities which sell in the market and you need to develop your skills and knowledge in order to build your career. So cracking the exam does not give you any guarantee but no one can steal these skills from you. So develop the skills and come out of this hype of cracking this exam again and again. Myth number three is that great teachers build great students. This is the most common myth that is circulated around in the field of English literature. Great teachers do not build great students. It is only the dedication and hard work of the student which makes them great. Though there are dozens of students I contact on a regular basis, but I cannot teach them anything. I can just guide them. They crack the UGC net examination by themselves and note that I have given something to them so that they will crack the examination. All the credit goes to the students and not to the coaching class and not to the teachers. And all you can do in return is to respect your teachers. So when you crack the UGC net examination, be proud of yourself, be confident and try for making this world a better place. Moving forward, the fourth myth is cracking UGC net examination is matter of luck. This myth is most popular myth among the students of English literature. Cracking UGC net examination is not about luck, but it is about your hard work and patience. If it was about luck, then why did I study this subject for years and years? And what about those students who are preparing their notes on a regular basis? So are you saying that they are wasting their time? If it is about luck, then why are you watching these videos? Luck always favors the bold. So this UGC net certificate belongs to smart students, to the dedicated students. So the fifth myth is, 
questions come from anywhere in UGC NET examination. This myth has been circulated more than it deserves. Many students believe that questions come from anywhere, but it is not the truth. I can show you 70% of the questions coming directly from the books. Nearly 60 to 70 percent of the questions comes from these books which I have mentioned in my earlier videos. I have given the link to that video in the comment section below. So before you go to that video, I want to warn you that these books are going to take more than a year. It may take you a couple of more years to understand and digest the information. So here comes the role of smart study. And for that, I have created the smart study material for you. I have given link to both the resources the books and the study material in the description below. You have to choose what you want to do with these two resources. So with this we come to the end of this video. I hope you found the video worth your time. So that's it for this video. Thank you.